Hi, I'm Nancy McCocken, and welcome to Living Karma Yoga. This is a program that brings you all of the yoga that the yoga world has to offer, from asana or posture, which is what we're going to be doing today, um, to mudra, which are hand positions that channel energy in very specific ways and give you some. They they help us calm down. They help us. They uplift us. They work with our emotions. Uh, mantra, ch chanting, the help calm the mind, meditation, um, lifestyle, uh, nutrition, training, traveling, and so very much more to help you take your yoga off the mat, which is really where it begins. Once we step off the mat, out of the yoga classroom, that's where the training that we do, that we learn in the yoga classroom, really comes in. Stopped in traffic, um, maybe it takes us half an hour to go a mile. We go back to our breath, maybe to our mantra. We look at the um, sunshine, the way the sun plays on the uh, trees, and we're calm, not thinking about where we need to be instead. That's how yoga helps us. Or it helps us by learning to stretch a little bit when we're on long road trips, or how to recover um, after we've done a marathon painting session. So <laughs> yoga is really, really helpful, and it's off the mat where it's most, most useful. And the techniques that we bring to you um, help, will help you learn to um, live a life of joy. That's what yoga tells us, that is deep inside of ourselves is the joy. And we learn through the yoga practices to peel away the layers that prevent that. My guest today is Lori Cohn. She's one of our, she's one of the sweetest people I've ever met. Mm -hmm. So sweet. <laughs> I want to tell you, that's really true. Um, she's one of our teachers. Uh, she teaches a slightly more strenuous class, and we invite you to participate at home, but to remember that we only do what's comfortable. And if it's not comfortable, we stop and breathe and ask ourselves, is this uncomfortable because I'm scared? because I just don't want to do it or because it's actually painful. And if it's actually painful, we stop and we, we modify or we just wait till the next movement. Lori's been practicing yoga since 1994. She completed her initial teacher training with uh, Catherine Austin of Karma Yoga, Catherine Austin Woolley now in 2006. She's also done Anusara teacher training with De Desiree Rumbaugh, Betsy Downing, and John Friend, and immersions with Sarah Davidson Flander and Natalie Donnellan Pyatt. She received Anusara inspired status in 2010, and she completed prenatal training with Sue Elkind. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Um, and has studied with other leading instructors, including Todd Tesson and Sianna Sherman. For her, obtaining knowledge and inspiration from each teacher is what inspires her. She has taken from these teachers and brings them into her classes, and she hopes to share and inspire her students to explore the challenges, the opportunities for growth, and the ultimate bliss that can be found in the practice of yoga. And I'm going to become not your host, but a student now. So take it over, Laura. Okay, thank you, Nancy. Sure. Um, so let's just center ourselves for a moment. Um, I usually begin class by centering. So take a nice comfortable seat and close your eyes and just turn inside. Just to your own breath as it flows in and out. And then gently deepen your breath. So Take about two or three times your natural breath, about three or four seconds inhale and three or four seconds exhale. So flowing with breath, the inhale and the exhale, it tends to warm up the body. And then lean back a little and welcome yourself to your yoga practice. Feel your sitting bones root to the blanket or mat that you're sitting on. Draw your side bodies long. Take your shoulders up and back. And breathe deep. And then on your next inhale, just join your hands at heart center in Anjali Mudra. So mudra just means a gesture, and this is a gesture of offering. 
offering it up to something bigger. So whatever that means to you, whether it's offering to nature, offering to God, offering to a higher consciousness, whatever it means to you, offer. And then bow your chin to your heart. The yogis say that in our hearts, we have the power of 10,000 lights. So bow your chin to your light. And think of an intention or dedication or connection that you'd like to make in this next 25 minutes. Or it could be for this season or this year. Could be, I just want to feel good. Could be that you need or know someone who needs a special prayer right now. You can set that intention for them or for yourself. May this yoga practice be of great benefit to us, to everyone we love, and all beings everywhere. Take a big inhale and exhale, lower your hands, lift your chin, open your eyes, and come to standing on your knees. And then sit back on your heels. If this is not comfortable for your knees, you can stand up on your knees. Um, but if it's okay for you to sit back in Vajrasana. And then extend your arms and interlace them behind you to the webbing. And extend the arms, lift your chest, take an inhale. And don't lock your elbows, but straighten your arms. And then take your arms around to your right hip. And press into your right hip. Squeeze your right Elbow, squeeze your elbows together, lift the chest, lift the chin, and breathe. So relax the jaw, maybe a slight smile, that always helps in relaxing the jaw. Press into the hip, squeeze the elbows together. Take one more inhale, and exhale, lower the right hand, and inhale, extend the left arm. So if you want more, you can take the left palm towards you and extend it over the ear. And you can bend your right arm. It depends on how far you want to go. Tack your left hip down. Extend your left fingertips. Take one more inhale. Stay here for the exhale. And then inhale. Come up to center. Shake out your arms. And then inhale. Interlace them the awkward way, so not the normal way. And then extend your arms, don't lock your elbows, and take them to your left hip. So both hands, tack your shoulders back, your elbows back, squeeze your elbows together, press into your hip, lift your chest, lift your chin, and breathe deep. Relax the jaw. Good, one more inhale. Stay here for the exhale. Good, take one more inhale. And then exhale, release the arms. Take your left hand and place it down and inhale, right arm up. Good, turn the right palm towards you if you want and extend it over your ear. Tack the right hip down, stretch through the right fingertips, look up. If you want, you can look straight ahead or down. It depends on how your neck is feeling today. Good, take one more inhale. Stay for the exhale. And then inhale, come all the way up and roll forward into hands and knees pose. So spread your fingers brightly. Squeeze the mat with your fingertips and all 10 knuckles and the palms of your hands. Then lift the energy up the arms and melt the heart. Good, strong arms, soft heart. And then inhale, heart forward, lift the chin, lift the sitting bones. And exhale, tuck the chin, tuck the sitting bones, cat pose. Good, and inhale, heart forward, lift the chin. 
and exhale, cat pose. And continue on your own breath. You can go as fast or slow as you'd like. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good. And then if you'd like, you can curl around to the right, take your ribs out to the right, your right sit bone back to your right heel, curl around to the left heel, take your ribs out to the left. You can inhale halfway around and exhale the other halfway around or inhale the whole way around and exhale the whole way around again. If you find a stiff spot or a stuck spot, you can stay in that spot and go back and forth and really breathe into it. Good, and go the other way when you feel like the time is right. Good, I'm gonna clear off your mats. Good. And then come back to a neutral spine and neutral hands and knees. Tuck your toes under and on your inhale, lift your knees, lift your hips, stretch back to downward face, facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Yeah, so you might slip your feet back a little bit. You can bend your knees, spread your feet as far apart as you'd like and bend your knees a lot. Good. Press your hands down and forward, your hips up and back. Yeah, good, Kathy. Yeah, and then inhale, come up high on your toes, and exhale, bend the left knee, stretch the right heel back. Good. And then inhale, come up high on your toes, bend the right knee, stretch the left heel back. And then you can alternate walking your dog. Good. So down dog is hard when you do it in the beginning of the class. It gets to be a restorative pose as you get into the class, but it's hard. So full down dog, stretch the heels back. Good, take another inhale here and exhale, just lower your knees to the mat. Take your big toes together, knees apart, and sit back in child's pose. Good. Stretch the arms out in front of you. So this is a active child's pose. So inhale, come up halfway, walk over to the right corner of the room and bow over the right knee. Good, stretching the left hip back, stretching the left arm in front of you. Yeah, yeah, you may stack the left hand on top of the right. And you can also do this in puppy pose, which is taking the hips right over the knees. Good, and then inhale, come up halfway, walk over to the left corner of the room and bow over the left knee. Good, breathe deep. Good, so we're going to be doing a potpourri class. We're gonna to try to get into everything, shoulders, hips, hamstrings, quadriceps. Good, and inhale, come up. Come back to hands and knees. Good, tuck the toes under. And on your inhale, lift the knees, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Good, from the heart, stretch out in every direction. From the heart to the hands, really press the mat away. From the back of the heart, reach up to the hips and down into the heels. Good, on your next exhale, bend the knees, look forward and step your feet up to your hands. Yeah, you can do lots of little steps or just two big steps. Spread your feet hip distance apart. So that's two fist widths. And you can bend your knees as much as you need to in order for your fingertips to touch the ground. Good, inhale, lift and lengthen your heart. Look up halfway 
and exhale, bow forward. So stretching out your hamstrings, inhale, lift and lengthen the heart, look up, and exhale, bow forward. Good. Inhale, lift and lengthen the heart, Ardha Uttanasana, and exhale, Uttanasana. Good. Inhale, stretch the heart away from the hips, and exhale, bow. Good. This time, inhale, lift and lengthen the heart, exhale, hands to the waist. Good. Shoulders back, lift the chin, and inhale, come all the way up. Good, stretch the arms out and up, look up, reach up, touch the sky, palms together and through heart center. Good, just close the eyes for a moment. Um, sometimes people get dizzy when they come up from forward bends, I do sometimes. Good, so inhale, open the eyes and exhale, lower the hands, good. Inhale, stretch the arms out and up, and exhale, just release the arms. So mirroring breath with movement. First inhale and then stretch the arms up. And exhale, release. Good, one more time. Inhale, stretch up. And exhale, release. Good, this time inhale, stretch the arms out and up. Interlace the fingers, except the index finger. Press down into the left leg and crescent to the right. Good, inhale, come up. Press down into the right leg and crescent into the left. Good, inhale, come up, stretch up, reach up, release the bind, and exhale, fold all the way to the ground. Inhale, lift and lengthen your heart, and exhale, bow. Step the left leg all the way to the back of the mat, and maybe step it a little bit farther back. So. I think of it as a dog wagging its tail, the left, left foot, and then bring your hands to surround your right ankle and just lunge in, take a breath, open to something bigger. Good, then squeeze the feet together energetically. Good, and then lower the left heel, take your hands inside your right leg. So down dog hands, you can either take your hands right under your shoulders or you can stretch them out. Hands flat on the floor. We don't have no blocks, so I usually say hands on blocks or flat on the floor. Press the hands down and forward, the hips up and back, especially on the left side. And then make sure your right knee is tracking over the pinky toe side of the foot. That's what makes it a hip opener. Good. Good, one more inhale. Stay here for the exhale. And then inhale, bring your hands to surround your right foot. Come up on your left toes and rock it forward. Step your left foot next to your right. Good, inhale, lift and lengthen your heart. And exhale, bow. Good, step the right leg all the way to the back of the mat. And scooch it back a little bit more to bring your hands to surround your left ankle and just lunge in, open to grace, open to something bigger. Plant the right heel, squeeze the feet together energetically, take your arms inside your left leg. So either right under the shoulders or stretch them out. Down dog hands, so outer shoulder distance apart. Good, press the hands down and forward, hips up and back. Good, breathe deep. Good, and on your inhale, bring your hands to surround your left ankle and step back, downward facing dog. Good. On your inhale, come forward into plank pose, the dreaded plank pose. Good. So lift the hips up a little. Thank you. <laughs> Good, scoop your tailbone, direct your heels to the back of the room, your shoulders and your gaze to the front of the room, or to me, and maybe a, 
Soft inkling of a smile to relax the jaw. Stay here and breathe. Good, you can lower your knees anytime. Good, and then lower your, both you, exhale, lower your knees. Lower your chest and your chin. Keep your hips high. And then keeping your hands and your feet in the same place, slide forward into Cobra Pose. Point the toes. Good, and it can be a mini Cobra. Mm -hmm. Take one more inhale. And then exhale, come all the way down. Tuck the toes under and either slide back to hands and knees and then to down dog or slide right back to downward facing dog. Use your belly. Good. Breathe deep. Good, on your next exhale, Bend the knees, look forward, and step or float your feet to your hands. Good floating. Inhale, lift and lengthen your heart, and exhale, bow. Good, inhale, come all the way up. Stretch the arms out and up. Look up, palms together, and through heart center. Good, exhale, lower the hands, and inhale, stretch the arms out and up. Interlace the fingers, except the index finger. Press into the left leg and press into the right. This time, bend the knees slightly. Step your left foot behind your right. Good. Lean to the right. See if you can straighten your left leg. Good, and breathe. You can look up under, uh, over your left arm or look straight ahead. Good, one more inhale. One more exhale, and then inhale, come back to center. Reach up and crescent into the left. Good, bend the knees slightly, step the right foot behind the left. So there's some wobbling involved here. Good, feet flat on the floor. And then if you can straighten your right leg, lean to the left. And look up or look straight ahead. Take one more inhale. Good. And then inhale, come back to center. Release the bind, look up, and exhale, fold forward. Touch the ground. Inhale, lift and lengthen the spine, and exhale, bow. Step the left leg all the way to the back of the mat. So we're gonna do a little twist here. Scooch the left foot back a little bit more. Squeeze your feet together energetically, and then walk your left hand out to the left a little. Take your right hand to the waist. Good, so squeezing the feet together energetically, twist from left to right, raising the right arm to the sky. Good. If you want more, you can take the right palm towards you and sweep the arm by the ear. Good, right shoulder back, left shoulder back, open the throat, lean back. Good, and exhale, take your hand down, step forward into Uttanasana. Good, inhale, lift and lengthen the spine, exhale, bow. Step the right leg all the way to the back of the mat, Good, take your right hand a little bit to the right, left hand to the waist. Good, squeeze the feet together and twist from right to left, raising the left arm to the sky. Turn the left palm towards you and sweep the arm by the ear. Good. Really good, left shoulder back, right shoulder back, open the throat, lean back, curl back. Beautiful, and exhale, place the left hand down, step back, downward facing dog. Good, on your inhale, lift your right leg in back of you, watch the wall. <laughs> Good, cross the right leg over the left. So your legs are crossed in back, and walk your hands back, bend your knees, and sit down between your legs. 
So it's Gomukhasana. Knees are stacked or just do the best you can. I know. <laughs> Good. Um, so place your hands by your hips. Tilt your pelvis forward and lift up. You can take a hold of your ankles. You can take your ankles forward or take your ankles back. Good. And then uh, go around your ankles like this and go the other way. Good. And then we'll do uh, uh, a, a, a spin. So if you can lift up, spin around. And then be seated on the opposite side. Good. So see if you can square your hips so you have equal weight on each hip. And go around your hips. Go one way and then the other. Good. And then extend your legs. Shake them out. And lie down on your backs. Vasana. <laughs> I'm going to slide over by Lori. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. And I'm sorry we run out of time because this was fun. It there was are a couple fun. of things that I haven't done before, so thank you. Okay. And thank you at home for watching. Um, if you're interested in the schedule, um, look online, www.karma-yoga.net. Lori teaches at 9.30 on Mondays. Is that correct? correct? And she subs a lot for us. Namaste. Thank you so much Namaste. for joining us at home. I hope you had fun in the practice. Um, you can play it over and over again. And pick up the stuff that was hard. The more we practice, the easier it gets. Namaste. Namaste. May the long time sunshine